Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you are well. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a H&M haul with some new in pieces that I think are gonna be really, really good for this season to be on trend, but also things that are gonna be timeless and add really well to a capsule wardrobe. Now, if you haven't seen my channel before, we do a lot of timeless capsule wardrobe vibes over here, very much like re-wearing, all that kind of jazz, but there's also some vlogs and travel thrown into the mix. If you're returning, you already know this, but H&M is one of my favorite shops to go to for really good high quality basics. Now, I'm not saying everything they sell is high quality and I'm not saying everything is necessarily good, but I found a few really great pieces from there over the years that have been going in my wardrobe for a really, really long time now. So I wanted to share some of the pieces that I've recently picked up with you and I'm gonna be adding to my wardrobe for this season and hopefully for many, many more springs to come. So we're gonna jump straight in with the pieces. And the first thing I wanna share with you is a bag because everything else is clothing, but this bag is specifically so good. H&M at the moment, I don't know what it is, but every single season H&M just blow it out the park and I don't know how they do it, but every season they just get better and better. This year they have nailed spring and I can't wait to see what summer has to offer. But this bag was the first thing I saw on the website. It was on the promo picture and I just fell in love with it. I think it's so gorgeous. It's very like Prada-esque in the style and I just think it's so beautiful it's such a gorgeous shape obviously one size it doesn't have any other straps it's literally just this one but I just think as a little shoulder bag it's so cute and I love that it's got like the canvasy vibe as well so really great for spring and summer very very timeless style and I just think it's so cute I absolutely love it I honestly just I think it's gorgeous it is slightly adjustable as well so you can make the strap a bit longer or shorter depending if you're wearing like chunky coats or something but I just think it's really nice like I'm envisioning this with like my Birkenstock stocks blue jeans black tee blazer very very simple vibes and it will just look really really sweet but yeah i'll leave this linked and all the bags on there honestly 10 out of 10 so i highly recommend having a good browse their bag collections are just so good then because it's spring i really wanted to have a little look into some different types of coats and outerwear because i have my trench coat that i wear 24 7 i've got my quilted jackets i've got leather jackets but i just really wanted something that was like basically like a trench and cropped but not a trench so i ended up falling for a trench that is cropped <laughs> and i love it because i think it's the perfect length like as you can see now it's going to be roughly around here obviously on the cutaways you can see it a little bit better but it's a really gorgeous crop trench and i was on the hunt for one like this for quite a while i bought one on vintage that i really liked but it just didn't fit me in the right way and i thought do you know what let's give it a try i don't think it was that expensive and i think a crop trench is something that i can definitely keep for years and years if you haven't seen my timeless trends video i recommend checking it out because i basically talk through 10 of the trends that I've invested in over the last few years which are completely timeless in my wardrobe and I keep going back to so highly recommend having a look at that one but yeah really loved it I got this one in a medium so size bigger than I normally would go just so it's a little bit more oversized rather than being too fitted because stuff like this I just really like having it a little bit bigger coats especially I always go a size up just so you can fit like chunky jumpers and stuff because there is nothing worse and I've done it before than having a coat that fits a little bit too tight and then when it comes to wearing chunky jumpers and stuff like they just don't fit you can't really move they're uncomfortable so always better to go for something a little bit more oversized and this one's just so cute I think very nice and chic as well like loafers little skirt maybe some tights little socks t-shirt I just there's so many ways you could wear this and I think it's going to be a really great styling piece for this year and many years to come okay next up we have this gorgeous little top which I saw and fell in love with straight away I think everywhere at the moment seems to be having a moment with tie front items it's kind of been happening for a couple of years now but I think especially spring summer they always seem to come back out I've got some really gorgeous options in my wardrobe like my dams and madame gilet I've got a really nice white shirt from Topshop a couple of years ago that's a tie front and I just thought this was really sweet because it's floral so it kind of gives to that spring summer vibe I'm not really a print and a pattern kind of girl but I thought this was really nice and simple I love the fact it's sheared and to be honest this is a small and I do think it looks quite big so I don't know if I'm maybe gonna have to swap for an extra small because it does it just looks quite big. I don't know. It looks bigger than it normally would, I think. So we'll see what it's like when it's on, but I might size down in it or just, you know, see what the fit's like because maybe it's meant to be a little bit looser. I just thought it was really gorgeous and I loved the print of it so much. So I had to get my hands on that one. But you can kind of see it's just, it's really nice and subtle and sweet. And it's black and white as well, which I love. It's very hard to find this kind of floral in black and white. So love that. Then would it be me without going for a cute little waistcoat? No, it wouldn't. I love the grey of this one and it did come with matching trousers and stuff, but I just thought I probably got a grey that can either go with it or like a nice 
similar tone but not the same so I didn't go for the matching bits but this one I got in a small and it's a slightly oversized waistcoat with the asymmetric on it I thought this was so gorgeous for wearing with like various different bits like satin skirts or tailored trousers and stuff so really good if you are someone who maybe goes into the office for work or to be honest even if you don't go into an office for work and you just work from home but you want to look a bit smarter on camera this kind of thing is great and I just thought it was really really sweet would look so nice with some cream trousers and like cream heels or something but equally really cute with some like black trousers blue denim etc yeah really excited to see how I can style this one don't 100% know if it's going to stay purely on the styling front but I do love a waistcoat and I think they're just a really gorgeous piece to have so we'll see how I go with that one then I went for this skirt which I'm not 100% sure on because I don't know what the length is going to be like I don't really love a midi or me I prefer a more maxi style I am five foot four so sometimes they tend to be a bit longer which is perfect but I really liked the fact this is just a ribbed skirt and I thought this with like a nice pair of chunky sandals in spring summer or like boots with an oversized t-shirt or jumper would look really really nice especially with like a leather jacket or something just so cute so I thought I'd give it a go I got this one again in a small and I think it did have matching items I'm pretty sure I can't remember if it was like a t-shirty vibe or a jumper I can't remember but really really cute and I just I think H&M do this kind of piece really well I have a cable knit set from them that I wear all the time when I'm working from home and I just thought this would be a great option for working from home but equally for being a bit more comfy in spring summer outfits and still dressing on trend but a trend that I think will be timeless. Then speaking of timeless trends, I got this cute little jumper. Now if you've seen any of my content before, you'll know that me and stripes are a bit of a love-hate. I love certain striped items, but I'm not a fan of like your classics. So I have a striped t-shirt that I wear quite often. I've got one jumper with like really big thick stripes. Um, I have a little crop top and I thought this was gorgeous. It did come in plain cream as well, which I thought was equally as cute. But I thought, do you know what? I thought, let's give stripes a go. Stripes are just such a timeless classic. But I do think, I think what it looks like on, because sometimes stripes suit me, sometimes they don't. I might swap it for the um, plain one because I think the plain one was gorgeous. But this one has slight balloon sleeves, so really gorgeous, little white cuffs. And it's kind of scalloped at the bottom. And then on the back, it's got this gorgeous bow detailing. This doesn't come undone, so no one could like pull it open or anything like that. It is fastened on. But I thought it was a really cute style. And I think as much as I'd wear this with the, as the back, I also think it could be quite cute wearing it backwards and having this as the front. Because the way that the bow is, it's kind of directly over where your bra strap would be anyway. So I think it could be worn both ways, to be honest with you. And I think it's really, really cute. But... I fell in love with it. I think I potentially, depending how the stripes look, might swap it for the white. I got this one in a medium and I just think it's so, so cute. Especially for spring, because stripes in spring are just such a classic. But I equally think in summer with some little denim shorts, this could look really cute too. Then I picked up a pair of jeans and I did this more as an experiment because if you haven't already seen, I did a jeans edit video where I basically talked through my entire jeans collection, all of the ones that I absolutely love. I went through all of the styles, all of the favourite fits, etc. And I thought, you know what? I actually haven't really experimented that much with high street denim. So Marks and Spencers, Primark, H&M, etc. I'm going to be doing a whole video of going shopping and like trying on different things like that soon. But I thought I would give myself a little trial with some H&M denim. Now, I did size up because I know from past I have bought a pair in a size 8 and they didn't fit. So I ended up sending them back and just completely forgot to rebuy them. So I thought I'll go a size up and see how they are. Also because these are quite wide baggy legs. So I thought maybe size up and then it will hang a little bit looser on my hips. I personally really like when jeans look a little bit loose. I think it just looks really nice. I know some people prefer them being tight. But I think it looks nicer when they're a bit more roomy. These are the wide high-waisted and they just look like a really good size and a really gorgeous color as well just like a nice mid wash blue so we're gonna see how I get on with these and I'll let you know the fit and stuff on um, in the description box I'll just I'll remind myself I will forget but I'll try and remember to talk on the fit obviously you can see from the cutaway what they look like but I just think they're really nice and I think if I can find some good high street denim to tell you about if you don't want to pay the bigger amounts to invest in the ones that I talked about in the jeans edit this is potentially a really great option, although I do think denim is something to sometimes invest in because it lasts longer. But then if it's a style like this that you're maybe going to wear every now and again and it's not going to be like a permanent everyday feature, I don't think it matters if you go a little bit cheaper because they will last you a really long time. Then I thought I would get a different type of jacket and I bought this one because I thought 
I know that this is going to be another trend that comes back again. I did recently get gifted a gorgeous leather version from River Island and I bought a wool Zara version last year that I really really love and I get a lot of wear out of. So when I saw this one I just knew that I had to have it. I just thought this is love. If I keep any of these items please just note that things will be leaving the wardrobe now i've spoken about this a lot but i am kind of trying to keep my wardrobe a bit circular so i'm having a very much like one in one out kind of policy at the moment so if something is coming in i have to justify it by removing something and if there's nothing i can remove that item is not allowed to come in so this to me is going to be a challenge because if i love this and i have really similar i'm either going to replace what i've got or I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes I might just add it in and be cheeky and just break my own rule but that's really naughty so we'll see but this one is beautiful because it's like a book is it boot clay I don't know how you say it but it's like that kind of soft gorgeous slightly woven fabric love the fact it's black it's cropped again which is really nice the inside is like a little bit silky as well which is really beautiful I got this in a medium because I thought it would just be a really nice fit and I love 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 the way that these look teamed with like denim skirts and stuff as well as like tailored trousers etc my thought process was styling this with like some striped pajama trousers an oversized tee and some docks could be quite cute we'll see we'll see how it goes but i really liked it and i thought it was a gorgeous jacket they had quite a few bomber styles and i would say to be honest every website i've looked at recently was the same so it's definitely a trend that's coming back it's a trend that has kind of been around for a long time as well because I don't know if you remember but years ago bomber jackets were massive they keep just kind of flitting in and out so not necessarily a trend that's every single year but definitely a trend that keeps coming back time after time so it's worth investing into if you like it but again as I always say if something is what you like and what you like wearing it doesn't really matter about the trends and it doesn't really matter about other people's opinions it's more about what you like and your capsule wardrobe will be whatever you make it because we're all different we all have different shapes sizes likes and dislikes so yes I think this is going to be a winner but we will see when I try it on and put it into the wardrobe then speaking of striped trousers I have a set of pajamas from last year in H&M that I wear all of the time as like day wear so I wear the shirt open with like a white bandeau top the trousers and some trainers etc I've worn just the trousers just the shirt and I think pajamas as outerwear is becoming a trend that I'm so here for and it's been since Covid I think where we've all just kind of started to mix those like loungewear vibes the leggings and stuff like leggings and activewear had such a revival through 2020 and I don't think it's going anywhere so I picked up this set because I really wanted some gorgeous striped trousers that were pink very unlike me very very unlike me but I just thought that pink would be a gorgeous colour to add to my wardrobe so I picked up this pyjama set which I thought was really cute now I adore H&M pyjamas I have so many pairs from there over the years my core staple pyjama collection is H&M and or Primark that's the only two places I really go to I just think they fit really nicely this kind of style where they come together is also really inexpensive most if not all of the pyjamas you see on get ready with me's and stuff are from H&M so just a tip if you ever see anything from me on that this one I thought was really cute because it's like a nice soft pink and white stripe and it's kind of like an irregular stripe as well so I don't know if you can see because the camera is not really focusing on the pink right now but really gorgeous stripes and this style of trouser I just absolutely love because it's got the really nice small drawstring waist which looks really flattering tell me this isn't perfect for those trends that everyone's wearing at the moment where it's like the striped trousers you can buy the striped trousers that are linen or whatever and they are specifically for wearing out but to be honest I think upping the price to wear them as like normal trousers versus just buying them as pajamas like it's literally the same fabric and the same trouser but you're paying different amounts and I also think for these you're kind of paying for a co-ord as well because you could wear it together obviously just leave it open with like different bits underneath and stuff so I personally think that you should buy pajama versions because I just think they're really cute but yeah loved them I thought the pink was gorgeous and it's going to go with a lot of the outfit inspiration that I've saved on Pinterest for the spring and summer then because my wardrobe is very plain and basic and simple I thought I really want to add in some elevated basics but without breaking the bank so thinking on different pieces that I wear a lot but different styles of that piece so for example plain white and plain black t-shirts I love them I wear these all the time this one's actually from Zara about six years ago and I love it I wear it a lot same as the white one but they don't do them anymore so I'll link a cotton on version because I think it's really gorgeous but I wanted to try and find some really nice basics that were a little bit different that were maybe a bit more elevated not necessarily just a plain white t-shirt 
and I also wanted something that I knew would be quite timeless that I could probably still wear when I'm in my 40s in my 50s and that's where I came across this one so this is like a really nice slinky fabric great for wearing in the office because it is a little bit smarter as well which is kind of the whole point of elevated basics but really really gorgeous so I picked this one up in a small that's actually the back but it's the same each way it's just got this ruching down the side really high neck like an, a loose wide vest vibe like it comes quite wide I love when vests come a bit wider across so I think it's more flattering and I just thought it'd be so cute for styling into casual outfits smarter outfits and just like I said a good elevated basic because that's the whole point of my wardrobe at the moment is like having my white tees and my black tees but finding different things that are more elevated versions of those as well so that I can still wear the same kind of outfit but with a slightly different twist so yeah really love this one it's really cute and they did have a couple of other colors as well which I thought was gorgeous but yeah absolutely love it and I think with a really nice little nude bra underneath you won't see it and then last but not least I picked up a swimsuit which I really liked and I thought would be perfect for the summer I don't have many trips planned necessarily but I do have like one or two that are going to be in the sun so I thought I would prepare myself in advance so I picked up this little cut out swimsuit which I thought was gorgeous it's got a really nice square neckline the wide straps and obviously the cut out at the side here so it's kind of like wearing high-waisted knickers with a little bra I find H&M swimwear comes up quite small I don't know if I did remember that when I got it no nope, I got an eight so we'll see how that goes but I do normally find sizing up in H&M swimwear is definitely a must the one thing they do do though is a lot of their swimwear is padded so it's got removable pads in the top so that's really handy if you want that I personally take it out because I just don't really care that much for it but I know that a lot of people like it especially in white swimwear but yeah I do find they come up a little bit small around the waist so bear that in mind if you're going to get some maybe get two sizes and try them on and see what you think but that's it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed seeing a little H&M haul as I've said a million times before I am actively buying more second hand at the moment we've got a very one in one out policy I don't need to justify myself if I want to spend some money quite honestly I can just spend it it doesn't really doesn't mean anything to anybody else but I just wanted to say that I am still doing all these things and still saving some money consciously shopping a little bit less and more second hand so I wanted to keep the haul videos going a little bit for you because I know that you guys like seeing them likewise with come shop with me's and things like that I think it's important as a fashion account to still share with you things that are new in the shops and new in my wardrobe so hopefully you enjoyed them if you wanted a little second hand haul I did recently upload a vintage haul with some second hand shopping tips so make sure you go and check that out and yeah I guess if you want any of the links they'll be down in the description box below if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already the little notification bell will just mean that you get told whenever I upload a video great if you like the Sunday weekly vlogs and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>